Greetings. In this next video, we're going to add the ability for people to make comments and introduce a new uh, layer type for the blog, which is the single blog, the single layer type. So I've added two new green layers to this document, and you can see them uh, here. They both have the single hint. We have bottom single and mid single. Now, like posts and comments, the single layer is a column. And it is, as a column, it is not normally going to be visible on the page, so we won't see the green box itself. We'll just see the contents of this particular boundary layer on the page. The single layer, um, unlike posts and comments, does not repeat its contents over and over. The single layer is some, uh, something that allows us to place some elements on the page so that they're only visible in the single post view, which is why we have the single hint. In this particular case, the mid-single uh, block has a blog data layer called intermediate blog data, and it has a post add comment link uh, uh, identifier inside of it, as well as the text, see others, what others are saying. And the bottom single just has the comment form identifier inside it. Now this is interesting in that the single, these two single layers are using identifiers that are from other places. So we've got the post identifier in the first one, and we've got the comment form identifier in the second one. So I'm going to bring up a chart and talk about this real quick. So it's pretty easy if we're using post identifiers in a post um, area and comment identifiers in a comments boundary. Very, very straightforward to know that this is where we use them and that they're going to be safely used there and so on and so forth. But you can use some of the identifiers in other boundaries and this chart explains this so that the blog identifiers can pretty much be used anywhere on the page. They can also be used inside a post block, they can be used inside a comments block, and they can be used inside a singles block. So, fantastic. The post identifiers cannot be anywhere on the page, they, but they can be in a post block, they can also be in a comments block, and they can also be in a singles block. The comment identifiers can only be used in a comments block with the exception of the comment form identifier which is can only be used in a single block and that's not on this chart right now and then the widget identifiers we'll uh, uh, see later we haven't encountered them yet so with this we are ready to go now when this is built it looks like this so here we're on the page and this page is already in single view and so we can see our comments that we've seen them before uh, but we have the uh, see what other saying is here it's visible in this view, the singles view, it's not visible in the multi-view. Uh, if I click the speak up button, I come down to the comment form, and so we can now fill this out and uh, submit a comment on the final blog, not here. This is just in the design manager. This particular form is customizable. It appears in the form appearance uh, section of the design manager. And so I can open up this, and just using all the regular controls that we use for a form editor, I can control the layout. For example, we can maybe use uh, uh, left alignment instead of uh, center alignment, and I can you know use the other form controls as you've seen if you've ever used the uh, form editor. Uh, so in this particular video, just a recap, we saw that the, some of the identifiers can be used outside the blocks of the same name. We introduced the new single uh, block for making things appear only on the single view, and we also talked about the comment form being usable in a single block and the comment form appearing um, in the form appearance so that it could be customized there. Hope this was useful.